Pep, well, congratulations. A perfect away performance, wasn't it? Yes, I think so. I think uh, we put a, a really strong performance in terms that uh, we slowly, uh, we're we putting in the pitch the stamp of football that we want and the standard football that we want. And it gave us the point, I think, very deserved today. I think we defended uh, well when we had to, when we were under pressure last 10 minutes, that is normal to be with that result away from home. We, we handled it very well and, and we played um, and we dominated the game as well to create problems to, to Charlton through the wide areas. And I think it's just a show of um, a great attitude from the, from the players that slowly everything is clicking for, for us and it's still a long way for us to go, but very pleased because that means the second away victory against here today against one of the most informed teams of the league. Uh, that means a lot, yeah. Talk about the wide areas. That that was a key today, wasn't it? I know you'd done your analysis and homework on Charlton with that diamond. Explain how that came to fruition. Well, it was we knew it was going to be tough for them to to defend Maxim and to defend Christian Pedersen if they were doing the right things and and we worked very well on that. And I think the team felt comfortable finding Maxim and finding Christian. And that was tough when you're playing with a diamond like they're doing. It's tough to go out. All the way out to the to the white player, and that gave us a little bit a three v two situations that helped us uh, first to to keep a little bit more the ball because we always can go from side to side, but as well got us up the pitch and got a little combinations that I think worked very well the first half and the second half. In the end of the day, it's a credit for the players because they managed to translate that into the pitch, and as well when we lost the ball, I think their attitude to try to get the ball back as soon as possible was fantastic. And, and that's really what, uh, what our game was. And we were lucky uh, when we had to be lucky. And, and when we had to be good, we were good. And when we played all the time to our strengths, I think, and, and probably the, <clears throat> the first time that Campi saved the, a ball was on the 72, 72nd minute. So that made, uh, I think it's a perfect away, away performance. Yeah. And the goal itself, you mentioned Maxime Collin, he drove forward into Korean Marabti and a, and a lovely ball to, for Jude Bellingham to come in off the left. Yeah, very pleased because not only for Jude to manage to score the second goal and to come in from that, but how the goal was, I think it's a fantastic team goal. It's a, a lot of combinations has to be right. I think the play that Maxim got uh, was superb. Uh, he managed to, to beat two defenders and then, and then find, find Karim and keep, keep going on the run. And the team was balanced at the same time on that chance. So we were prepared as well. Something happens. We were solid defensively. And, and I think the goal was uh, the execution of the final goal and the assist from Karim was fantastic. About Jude, there's not much else we can say. He's, he's writing his own story at the minute, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's that's important thing. That well, what we can say, what we can say is that we are proud of what he's achieving. I think the whole team, we are all proud, the whole club, and uh, we just wish him all the best. And, and we want him to, and I would like him to remember that he has a whole team behind him and his teammates, and, and they are supplying this kind of football that, that Judy is, is, is having as well. So it's, it's their credit. So it's the credit of the, of the whole team. And it's a credit and it's a show as well to, to all our, our academy that we're working very hard in the academy for a lot of years without recognition really almost because it's like this in the academies uh, to be able today to see one of our younger talents uh, facing this success is, is a big part of their success as well and what we want to achieve as a club and I think all our fans are proud of them. A couple of selection decisions there, Jude started, Dan Crowley started and Kareem Marabti got his first start as well. You must have been pleased with how all that panned out and, and their contributions. Yeah, I'm very pleased for the work, uh, work ethic, the attitude, the performances in trainings and the performances in the pitch from everyone in the squad. They're putting the things very difficult for me to choose. Luckily for us, we understand what kind of games we're playing. We know we have options. We, we try to play the, the, the best options that we can for that and everyone understands. And, and, and in the end of the day, it's the merit of the, the whole team and the work that they're doing and all the points they're getting. Here. And at the end there, it, eight minutes of added time in the end, they were throwing everything at you. Brilliant resolve from the team not to concede and also a little bit of tetchiness in the technical area. Yeah, well, um, everything got a little bit heat up 
to so to speak. But I think it's normal in football. Um, one ball left the technical area, and then obviously the ref cannot allow it, and then come to me and, and say, "Don't worry, I did the booking for that. I know, I know how it is, and that's it." Did, did the ref ask you who it was then? Probably, yeah, I think so. I think and you and you weren't prepared to grass anybody up. Was I don't know if I really knew it at the time because uh, I was really into the game. It was it was it was a moment that we were the we had to do everything in our power to to keep showing our players faith and, 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 and courage and so everything happened very quick really. But end of the day, very pleased actually, actually uh, let me say it, um, the 3,000 fans that were here today, it looked to me that we were in a San Andreas, so they were superb. And just to clarify, a ball left our technical area onto the field of play which held up play and after you were booked then Lee Bowyer was sent off, do you, do you know what that was for? No, I don't know. I think that was after another action. They had no. I don't think it had any effect on, on, on us. So a fantastic away performance, fantastic three points. Mood must be excellent right now. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Very pleased for the fans who came, for the fans that are at home. Very pleased for the, for the the progress that the team is showing, for how everything is going at the club. But at the same time, feeling a lot of responsibility because. Because I know a lot of things that we need to keep, keep getting better, and 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 I feel it myself uh, as a as a one to make sure that I do everything in my power to get everything as good as possible, and um, so not everything is 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 positive. In the end of the day, for me, uh, I want to make sure that we keep growing and keep keep growing and and, and keep getting points and keep keep convincing even more, if possible, and 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 keep, keep helping the club to grow. Pep, thank you very much for your time and well done today. Thank you very much and thanks everyone who came here today.